New tonight at 10, Color 8 First met the Mayano family over the summer when they were raising money to purchase a service dog for their daughter Riley, a young girl with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and heightened anxiety. But as the Mayanos prepare to welcome the newest member of their family, major complications have arisen. In an effort to be transparent with the community that has supported them on their journey, the family is sharing their story. Color 8's Diane Casanova reports. So how much have you already paid? All of it, 14500 After months of waiting, organizing numerous fundraisers with local businesses, and paying thousands of dollars, the Mayano family was ready to pick up their new service dog, Bridger. That is, until they got this email from Mark Mathis, president of RICON, a nonprofit service dog training organization that was training and housing Bridger. The nonprofit is ceasing operations immediately and closing down their kennel by the end of the month. The email says in part, we take pride in the many successful placements RICON has made over the past several years and in the current dogs in our program, but we're forced to recognize that our brand has suffered from issues with accounts receivables and a select number of recently returned dogs in the unfortunate response that followed. I woke up to it and in panic mode because I didn't know what it meant for us. For the Mayanos, who were already on their way to North Carolina to meet Bridger, train with him and learn how to handle him, this came as quite a shock. Hi, Bridger. In the days following the email, another Rikon customer picked up Bridger at Stacy's request and three other dogs. Oh, Bridger, you're breaking my heart, sweet girl. You're doing okay. The rescuer sent this video of Bridger to Stacy after he was removed from Rikon, and what the Mayanos saw only made them more concerned. Come on, Bridger. Stacy had the woman take Bridger to the vet, who reported the dog was in less than optimal condition. In some of the documents that we got from the one vet, it says that he was showing aggression and growling and nipping at the um, attendees uh, in the back vet room. The vet even told me he doesn't even know how to stay for a long period of time. He's scared. He's skittish. He goes, that's not a service dog. The concern goes beyond having a recognized service dog. The Mayano family is on a time crunch. Stacy's husband Jacob accepted a government contract in Japan and the family is preparing to move overseas next month. So now it's, do we take the dog that's not trained and possibly get him trained in Japan? Do we not take the dog at all because it's showing signs of aggression? We spoke to Mark Mathis, owner and operator of Rikon, who says this was an unexpected turn of events. The business has become simply unsustainable. I'm very, very unhappy about that. I'm very sorry for the families, and I'm very much wanting to do right by them. The Mayanos are at a loss, but they feel responsible for more than just their little family. They feel they are in debt to the Billings community who helped them out in their time of need. Well, I just feel bad because all these people helped us to get a dog that we may or may not take. But if I don't take the dog, then I don't know how to, to reimburse these people that helped us. We will continue to follow this story over the next few days as the Mayano family makes a difficult decision on what to do with Bridger. Back to you. And of course, we wish the Mayano family well.